Hi, I'm Tony Gondola from the New Mexico Museum of Space History in Alamogordo, and I'm excited to bring you the next installment in our From the Vault series. Enjoy! The successful flight of Apollo 11 proved the concept of human lunar exploration and completed a political goal. The moonwalk itself was short and sweet, lasting just two and a half hours. It was by design very conservative, with the astronauts staying within 200 feet of the lunar module. With the positive result from Apollo 11 behind them, NASA began a quest for a greater scientific return from each landing. As confidence in the system grew and pinpoint landings became a reality, the need for greater mobility became obvious. The Apollo 12 moonwalkers carried a small tool carrier as they ventured 1,350 feet from the LEM to investigate Surveyor 3. The crew of Apollo 14 really pushed the limits with the much maligned Lunar Rickshaw or MET. The little two-wheeled cart helped a lot as the crew walked nearly a mile to the slopes of Cone Crater. It made it easier to carry the equipment they needed, but they were still on foot. With the introduction of the Lunar Roving Vehicle, or LRV, the Apollo 15 Lunar EVAs were a whole new ballgame. With the LRV, the Apollo 15 moonwalkers were able to cover a distance of 15.1 nautical miles and venture over 4,700 feet away from the lunar module. The mobility made possible by the LRV culminated with the Apollo 17 moonwalkers traversing a total distance of almost 20 miles, venturing as much as 4 miles away from the lander. While early studies of the lunar surface mobility question date back to the mid-50s, serious planning started in May of 1969 with the approval by NASA of the Manned Lunar Rover Vehicle Program at Marshall Space Flight Center, with Boeing being selected as prime contractor in October of 1969. At a total cost of $38 million, four flight-ready LRVs were produced, with three actually being used on the lunar surface. The little LRV weighed in at only 460 pounds, with a payload capacity of over a thousand pounds. With a quarter horsepower electric motor driving each wheel, the design speed was 8 miles an hour. However, in actual use, the Apollo 17 LRV reached a maximum speed of 11.2 miles an hour. Pretty sporty ride for sure. Navigation was provided by a directional gyro and an odometer. Using this information, a small onboard computer constantly calculated the distance and direction back to the LEM. The LRV also carried a color TV camera that could be panned and tilted by an operator in mission control. This reduced the workload on the crew and allowed scientists in the back rooms to do some exploring on their own. Rounding out the amenities, the LRV carried an S-band antenna for communications and all of the tools the astronauts would need for effective surface operations. The real marvel of the LRV was getting it to the lunar surface to begin with. The LRV was carefully designed to fold up so that it would fit into one of the equipment bays of the lunar module. As this time lapse shows, by releasing some latches and pulling deployment tapes, the LRV could be unfolded and lowered to the lunar surface with all components popping into place as it goes. The plucky little electric LRV did everything the astronauts asked of it, taking them to places that would have been impossible to reach on foot and greatly enhancing the scientific return and wonder of each mission it participated in. Well, that wraps up our latest edition of Stories from the Vault. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to post them right here, and we'll do our best to get an answer for you. Also, keep an eye on this location for future stories and updates. For now, stay safe, stay home, and stay curious.